morning, happy Monday, kicking off another week in my life. I don't really know what this week holds, hoping it holds my laptop returning to me. My whole vlog last week, I was just complaining about not having my laptop, but I genuinely thought I would have it back after three days. I just have a lot of work that I need to do on it that I didn't really think through. Having my coffee, gonna do some reading, and um, make a little to-do list. Classic almost noon first meal of the day. Made my toast in the air fryer. I've actually been obsessed with doing this because you don't need any oil, you don't need to cook it on the stove and dirty a pan. And it makes it like crunchier and crispier as far as toast. Got my avocado and my Applegate sausage already cooked up. Ooh, we got a decent sized pit in this avocado here. It's like in the 90s before noon and it's gonna get almost 100 degrees today. The thing about New York and the East Coast in general is the humidity. Like I grew up thinking 80 degrees was one thing and then you come to New York and it's like a hell of a lot hotter. I just don't do well, you guys. I don't know how people survive East Coast summers and obviously like I'm here, I'm doing it, but I'm just gonna be inside with my air conditioning on all day like a wimp. And then what I always add on top is balsamic glaze. This one's from Trader Joe's. I'm kind of contemplating if I want to try and make a Trader Joe's run sometime soon. Everything but the bagel. If you've been around the block, you know. You already know. Okay, why am I even bothering to show this? I also am thawing some ground beef. I hardly ever cook with beef, but I had this in my freezer from Butcher Box, and I was like, oh, this is perfect because I am a little low on groceries at the moment. So I also have some gnocchi in here. So I can make gnocchi with ground beef. I'm trying to be resourceful and use the things in my freezer while I space out my grocery trips. 5 p.m. I need to come home and I need Hello. Just one thing I'm working on right now. I thought I haven't really been vlogging anything throughout the day. Sierra sent me a draft of a podcast episode that she edited for the future. Um, so I'm going through and listening to it and just writing down my edits and cuts for the episode which we probably won't do forever but just in the beginning as we're both getting used to editing podcasts and like getting used to what each other likes in them and the flow of it we're gonna switch off editing and for some preview people, it's <laughs> just writing down timestamps of things that i would cut out we are trying really hard to make the episodes like 45 minutes to an hour and not make them super super long especially just in the beginning i don't know for me i think an hour is good like ones when I see they're 30 or 40 minutes, I'm like, that's so short. Like I wanna keep listening and it goes by so fast. Um, especially if I like the people. Let me know if it's important to you guys that it's a certain amount of time. But I guess also if it's long, like people can just listen to what they want, skip through it if they want. I don't know. Basically, we're just shooting for an hour, so that's why we're editing, and I've just made this whole explanation. As soon as I finish this, I'm going to make dinner. We're gonna make gnocchi and the ground beef, like I said. Okay, uh, this is what I have so far. Okay. Get to know the host of Fingers Crossed, Chris D and Sierra, explanation mark. I just woke up in the best mood because today is the first episode of our podcast. It went live, there's already some reviews that are so nice. I'm like close to crying. Um, this is us on Apple Podcasts. It got approved at the last minute, last night for Apple Podcasts and me and Sierra were so hopeful that it would before the first episode because we just published the trailer on like Sunday really early and so it took a few days for Apple Podcasts for it to show up but it's there! It's just like so real and so exciting and I I got up like an hour ago and I've just been spending the last hour like responding to DMs about it, posting about it, reposting your stories, tagging us and it's just it's great and also i'm in a great mood because my laptop is out for delivery baby it's about time today's gonna be a great day i already know so if you've been under a rock and haven't seen any of my content or anything the links are down below go subscribe to our podcast go listen just feeling so grateful so i'm gonna pour up some coffee right now as usual sierra and i are actually gonna try and record later depending on what time i get my laptop because we wanted to get ahead on recording like oh i just spilled coffee on my leg good morning this cap was not on which we haven't been able to do for the last week since i have been without my laptops 
It says delivery by 9 p.m. And I'm really hoping it's like actually early in the day. Very grateful that today's the day. I actually also ordered some groceries from Whole Foods again because, I don't know, I'm just like not ready to go out to Trader Joe's yet. Cheers to that. Okay, everyone. Hello. It is. It's grocery time. I feel like this is going to be very, very similar to my last week's haul. Also, I saw in the app that... He didn't pick up, it's like two of the items got left behind in my cart, like they were out or something, but one of them was a big box of spring mix for salads, and I'm very confused if they didn't have like anything similar to substitute. Okay, some pantry stuff. I got, you sound a little crushed. I got some gluten-free pretzel sticks for hummus. I got some pitted dates because um, I want to try doing like little desserts out of these. I got a couple of lemons to make some lemon water, a pack of taco seasoning because I was making ground turkey last night. I got some tomato basil pasta sauce. This one does not have added sugar, so I always get pasta sauce without sugar added. This, I got some Enjoy Life, which is like allergen-free chocolate, semi-sweet mini chips for the dates. And I felt like having some popcorn, so I got some Skinny Pop. This is the white cheddar flavor. And if I remember correctly, yeah, there's not actually dairy in the Skinny Pop white cheddar so life hack but it tastes like it the minimum you can order was two pounds of grapes and last time that was just one bag but this guy got me too i just got another box of chicken and apple applegate sausage i love stocking up on these okay they didn't have the pre-cooked chicken this time available but i just got two jamaican jerk chicken um chicken breasts so i might throw these in the air fryer i've never actually cooked meat in my air fryer but i know that you can and I got me some more oat milk because I'm always using it every day for coffee. And when I have iced coffee, I feel like I put more oat milk in than hot coffee. So it goes kind of quick. So yeah, that was my groceries for the week. Again, there wasn't, like he left out a few of the produce things. So I'm gonna have to swing by a local place and pick up some of those. I'll shoot for Trader Joe's next week. Literally just like sitting by the window, staring out, waiting for the UPS driver. <laughs> okay, now it's like 3 p.m. So I've kind of been in and out doing work all day, promoting the podcast all day. I had a bad experience, if you guys remember, when I had my phone delivered here and it was another like signature required kind of thing. And I was tracking it online. This was like back in September with UPS. And it said it should be delivered by 5 p.m. So I was like especially vigilant looking out the window. No one had showed up. It still set out for delivery. And then it was like, 450 and then i was like okay where is this guy and exactly at 501 p.m i'm still looking no one has come no one has rung the doorbell i've been watching and there's no ups truck and it automatically just says on my phone like delivery attempted but no one answered the door like please go pick it up at this facility and i was so pissed i don't know if the driver like pretended that he delivered it or something so i'm just really hoping that that doesn't happen this time and i feel like they usually come like evening and it says by 9 p.m. it should be delivered. So we will see. Guys, a couple hours later, it is currently 5.24. And I looked out and UPS is here. I'm literally just like watching him. Like, this is so creepy. I feel like a neighborhood dog whose only excitement of the whole day is the mailman. You guys. And I got it. Wow, what a moment. I look a mess and I feel a mess too. It's very warm from being in the... Hot sun. Ooh, look, she's so clean. We got a fresh new top case. Keyboard program, yes. And the IO board cable is defective. I don't even know. Bless up, they did it. But now, you guys, the true moment of truth is testing that this keyboard. They must have, yeah, replaced the screen because my camera covering is gone. Oh, oh, she's alive. Oh my God, it feels so sleek and clean and brand new. The login is still there, so they didn't wipe it. And that's good. I have it backed up, but I'm typing the end key. Oh my God, it worked. Oh, it feels A plus. We are back, everyone. The screen does look different. Why does it seem so much bigger? I guess because I've been looking at my phone for the past week. I'm so happy I got it back. I'm very pleased. Okay. Um, I am going to jump on here. I really need to like get some things uploaded on here ASAP And then I think Sierra and I are gonna record a podcast tonight. It's 5 45 now Okay, you guys for dinner tonight. I'm going to attempt to make chicken in the air fryer I've just been using my air fryer for like way more than 
normal lately. I looked it up and I saw that it was safe to put foil in it if you're not like covering the whole thing or something. Here are the chicken breasts that are pre-marinated in this bag that I got from Whole Foods. And I think there's two of them in here and I think I can make them fit in this little dish, perhaps. And just put a little foil down here. I think I'll do that. Make a little dish out of it. Seems fair. <laughs> what I might have to do is put one, because it like takes up the whole foil like that, and then put this thing over the top, and now we'll make another foil bed. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cook this at probably like 375 for, let's do 10 minutes first and then check it and flip it. It's not even raining hard, but this water runoff from that thing is just like a waterfall. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I just checked it to flip it. This one actually looks pretty done near the top, um, but if I cut it, it probably won't be because 10 minutes isn't very long. One piece at a time. So now they are restocked and flipped, and I will cook them for probably like six or seven minutes this time just to check. This water is truly something else like Niagara Falls on my building. I put the bigger one back in for a few minutes, but this one I think is pretty done. So I would call that a success. It totaled like 17 minutes. Well, this one's a few more at 3.75. So, yay. Okay, hello you guys. I am actually putting on a little bit of makeup for the first time in a few days. I washed my hair last night and I feel like that's always, what was I getting my blush? I feel like that's always when I wanna get ready the next day is when I'm gonna have like fresh clean hair. Um, even if I'm not going anywhere, just for fun. So I wanted to talk about a little bit. I posted my YouTube video talking about the podcast and announcing it there yesterday. And I, I have to say up front, like so much overwhelmingly positive feedback and your comments are like so uplifting and encouraging for me and I really, really appreciate it. So I, I never like to address negative comments because there's so few voices and I never want to like undermine the people that really appreciate and leave nice comments. And I'm not talking about like people who are offering constructive criticism because that's completely valid, but I do want to address, I think a common comment about podcasts that isn't constructive. But I did get a few comments on that video. One of the first comments was like, oh, the last thing we needed is another influencer podcast. And that's like, that's the kind of sentiment that I want to address because I feel like there's so much stigma around podcasts for some reason, like as a platform, specifically like influencers starting them. And I just, I don't know, I kind of want to like deconstruct the idea of podcasting being saturated or overcrowded or there's too many of them. I just don't understand why that platform is like so targeted for that kind of sentiment because every platform is crowded. Like this is the internet. Billions of people in the world are on the internet like making profiles, using their voices, making YouTube channels, making podcasts. I'm not trying to like be angry about this because I'm not. I just want to like put a little bit of perspective if people are thinking like that. So the way I see it, let's put that same argument to another kind of content platform like Instagram, for instance. You could say Instagram is so saturated. It's so overcrowded. There's too many accounts, but that sounds ridiculous, right? Because you only follow, you don't follow, you know, all 6 billion people that are on Instagram obviously, and no one is following every single account, you only follow the people that you know, that you resonate with, that you are inspired by, that you get value added from following them, whether it's your cousin and you wanna keep up with what she's doing, or whether it's a meme account that just brightens your day, or whether it's something where you actually learn from. Like, there's so many reasons why certain people resonate with certain accounts and certain content, and there's so many people in the world that of course you only follow the people that like you get something from. You would never stop and say, you know what, I'm not gonna make an Instagram. Like everyone else already has one. Mine's not gonna be any different. Why would anyone care? Natalie Barbu, her company Barbu Agency posted on their Instagram. Like imagine if Rihanna had said, oh, everyone already has a makeup company. Like I don't need to make one. Then Fenty Beauty wouldn't exist. 
and it was so different. I'm obviously not trying to compare myself to Rihanna and I'm not trying to make this about like me and my podcast as much as it might sound like it but I just want to address this like broader argument against people starting podcasts in general because I feel like it's so harmful because why are you trying to silence their voices like why are they you know less valuable in to like speak up and give their perspectives and make a podcast and the people that are already there you know everyone is different everyone has different perspectives everyone's so unique and everyone is valuable so i just feel like it's rude and devaluing people to say oh it's already crowded like there's no room for you because i feel like it deters people like i've gotten so many messages that are like wow like this is really inspiring me because i've always wanted to start a podcast too and i'm not gonna go and be like Actually, now that I'm here, it's really crowded. So like, maybe you should look elsewhere for a less saturated platform. Like, no, there's room for everyone because everyone has different voices. You have the freedom to give it a chance, listen to it. If you really don't think it's value added, if you don't find it interesting, you just don't have to listen, but you don't need to go and comment like, we don't need you in the podcast. You know what I mean? I want this to be more about like addressing that stigma that might stop people from making podcasts because they feel afraid of that. I just don't want that to be a barrier for anyone. I think everyone can make a podcast. Everyone can make a YouTube channel. That's like what I was thinking too when someone commented that. I was like, if you think there's too many podcasts, like why are you watching my YouTube video? Don't you think there's too many of those too? Like there's so many videos on the internet. Like why am I posting them? Well, because some people resonate more with my content than others. And that's just the internet. And for the people who are not interested in podcasts at all, who don't listen to them, who didn't listen to mine, and are tired of me talking about it, I swear it will, I'm not going to be like talking about my podcast constantly because it's just like exciting because this is the week that it launched and our first episode went up. So that's kind of why it's been like very central to me and my vlogs reflect like what's going on in my life. Also, I feel like my eyebrows have looked so, ew, I don't like that. I was like angrily like filling in my eyebrows because I was talking about the podcast stigma. I'm going to soften these up finished getting ready and drinking my iced coffee. I genuinely don't know when I'm ever gonna make hot coffee again because it's so hot. I kind of miss like the feeling of brewing my hot coffee and the smell, it makes your whole apartment. But also like I would be sweating if I was drinking hot coffee right now, so cheers. All right, the AC is on so it's probably loud, but I wanted to show you, I posted a little Instagram story and people were asking about my outfit, so I thought I'd show you. I'm wearing this like t-shirt dress it's actually a men's t-shirt that I got in the men's section of Urban Outfitters last year. It has a little pocket. It's really comfy and lightweight, so I just like the like charcoal heather pattern. Pattern, you know what I mean. If you want like a t-shirt dress, just go in the men's section and get a long ass t-shirt. This would be cute like belted too because it does kind of swallow you up. But anyway, I'm about to do some laundry. I'm going to clean my sheets. Oops. So I've officially been here for two weeks which I realized I flew here Thursday, two weeks ago. Still waiting on my official COVID results with my antibodies test also. And I posted, when I posted my Instagram story, I was asking like, is it normal? I took this test last Monday. It's been like nine or 10 days almost. And I haven't heard anything. So I think I'm gonna call the clinic later just to see. But a lot of people said they're really backed up right now. So I built the Let's go. I gotta get my quarters and go down to the creepy basement. Okay, and while my laundry is being washed, I'm gonna go take a little walk and get some coffee from a local coffee shop. I have been wanting to go and I've missed their coffee. And I figure why not treat myself? So I built the and said this is giving. in the song. Of a thousand merchant men singing just to fill their emptiness. New wisdom was a choice of the moment. Okay, I just got back and I had to like take a minute because I was sweating so much. Also, there's loud noise outside my apartment right now. Construction, New York, what can you do? I thought today, I was like, okay, it's cooled a little bit down from the heat wave. Like, it's like high 80s now. This will be fine. And I just went for my little walk and got my coffee and I was already sweating, not even that long into it. So I just got back and like clipped up my hair. Which I know no one wants to watch me complain about the weather. Just in time for my watch to tell me that my timer was done. I'm gonna go put my sheets in the dryer. And yeah, nice and sunny and people are out eating outside at restaurants and it just feels so lively. I don't know. You guys, I just broke open one of the new rolls quarters I got from my bank before I came back and they're so shiny and new 
Wilderness, Idaho. Oh, these are all Idaho. Interesting, and it says 2019 at the bottom. I don't know if you can see the image that well because it's all reflective. There you go, you can kind of see this one. 2019 quarters, you guys. I don't know why I get excited about this stuff. I'm gonna go use my shiny quarters to use the dryer. <laughs> Good use. I'm thinking I might actually split them up into two different loads just because sheets and towels like need all the space they can get in the dryer. This little pocket is actually not meant to hold things. I already put my coins in and it took them. And the push to start button isn't out. <laughs> God damn it, I hate this thing. RIP those quarters. Now venturing through the creepy basement that is wet for some reason. But you know what? We won't question it. Also, this cantaloupe bag has been there since I moved in, so good times. <laughs> Yes, so you don't have the results yet? Okay, do you know about the antibody test as well? Okay, thanks so much, bye. Okay, I just got a call from my urgent care and I answered it and like started recording because I thought they were gonna be telling me my results of my test because I got it, I just actually posted this morning like where are my results? Um, and I took it last Monday, so it's been nine days now. And she didn't give me my results, she was just like, I'm calling to see if you're available to discuss your results tomorrow between two to three and i was like i was kind of confused i was like what like i didn't know that you had to like schedule that so now i'm kind of concerned only our something can talk to you about it so it's good to know that it's like didn't get lost that kind of makes me nervous that they're discussing <laughs> that's the update kind of like a cliffhanger dun 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 there for you to be now and not just to become i put myself down <laughs> happy friday i a familiar sight, me sitting in like one of three spots where I belong in this apartment in one of three shirts that I belong in in this apartment. But I ended up having like a little Outlander watch party with my best friends. And I, it's sad because we passed the seasons that were on Netflix, so we couldn't do the Netflix party app. If you guys don't know, it's like a Chrome extension you can download where you can like sync up the videos and chat in the video you're watching in the movie show whatever the heck and so now we're just watching it separately on amazon prime so we literally facetime in the beginning so we make sure we all press play at the same time and then we just turn off facetime because it would echo the sound and stuff and we just text about the episode today is friday at the end of the week it's kind of like dreary weather out it's gonna be rainy and it's all cloudy there was lightning all night last night that's also something that kept me up i almost vlogged part of it and the flashes were coming right through my window but there wasn't thunder with it which i don't get because isn't the sound of thunder literally lightning striking? So you're seeing lightning and don't hear thunder. Like what is, I don't understand. I could Google it right now and understand, but I won't. <laughs> also recording a podcast episode with Sierra today. We actually pulled a bunch of audience stories and questions and things like that for this episode because we're talking about dating in your 20s. So I'm gonna go through Instagram DMs. We got the emails, the voice memos and kind of sift through and pull the ones that, that we want to use in the episode and then we're going to be recording this afternoon. I'm going to listen to some voice memos right now and probably die laughing at your dating stories. I was asked by this Australian man to come watch the Raptors game with him outside. We love Australia. Because their dating episode might already be up when you see this and if it's not then you should subscribe to the podcast. I'm definitely going to be telling a little bit more about my dating life and my dating stories on there which I know you guys always want to hear about. But that's what the podcast is for and that's what it's about is like going beyond kind of like the little snippets you see on YouTube and getting deeper into conversations and opening up more about things that I've kind of steered away from on YouTube. Check it out if you're interested. But enough of that, I've been plugging my podcast for the past three videos. So you guys probably want to punch me in the face, but subscribe first. You guys, this Taylor Swift song, the one with Boney Vare, I literally only listened to two so far. Oh my God, this song is so good. Wow, I am like flabbergasted. I've seen everyone tweeting about this and posting about it. It came out last night. Um, but I wasn't like in a rush to really, I don't know, I'm not like, oh my god, T-Swift or die. But that song just shook me to my core. Okay, I'm gonna listen to the rest of them. I really like this kind of sound. 
um, from Taylor Swift. Like I wasn't into her stuff recently, but I really liked her early work. I really liked like in high school, when I was in high school, I really, really liked her music. And then I kind of like got away from it. I didn't like the whole shake it off era. I wasn't into the reputation kind of stuff. Like when she went really hard for a pop, but wow, just that one song, I was like, damn. I'm excited to hear the rest of it. I am going to listen to this while I continue reading your dating stories. <laughs> you should prefer being outdoors and indoors. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. No I appreciate the call. Day. You too. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, I just got my call from the urgent care and my really accurate COVID test came back negative and my antibodies test also came back negative, which is what I suspected because I never thought that I had it. I never had any symptoms. And if I had contracted it without symptoms, I was with my family that whole time. So I feel like one of them would have gotten it with symptoms. So that's good news. So I have been super careful and I'm doing my best. I'm also human. That's what I expected from those results. I'm happy to hear that. And I didn't pick it up traveling. So she just kind of regurgitated the CDC recommendations to me about wearing masks. And if you see family and friends, like do something outside. So yeah, keeping to myself, uh, barely going out and sure. Just because I got a negative result doesn't mean I'm gonna throw the CDC guidelines out the window. Like I am gonna take all my precautions. I'm human. So um, I am excited to see a couple of my friends outside and like at a distance. Yeah. So now I'm gonna finish up these podcast notes and then get a workout in and then I probably have time to shower and stuff before we record. Snack time. I'm watching Remy and as I pull together some of the questions we're gonna answer, I'm just gonna have a little snack. It's been a few hours since I ate. I feel like today's footage has been quite boring because I've just been at my desk working all day. I call that my desk, but it's like my dining room table. I got my Newly package in the mail. If you guys don't know, Newly is a clothing rental subscription service. Really nice quality things. Some pieces are like several hundred dollars if you buy them on their own. I believe it's $80 a month, but I have a discount code. It's like a referral if you want to use it. There's always a link below. Like a refer a friend, get a credit kind of thing. So if you guys are interested, then definitely check it out because you get a good discount on that. I think it's like $10 off your first one. I always had a problem with like buying clothes and I wouldn't wear them often like book clothes that aren't necessarily staple pieces i really like the idea of like a rental service because then it's like staying and you only have it for a month you can switch them out and someone else can use them so it's like keeping them in the cycle it's more environmentally friendly they come in this nice little cloth pouch super well organized cool actually before i open newly i did get just like a little tiny package and i think i know what this is i did this email and asked if i'd want to try their masks and I was like, heck yeah, I could use all the masks I can get to, you know, a reasonable degree. This is so cute. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Special treat from Rafi Nova. We're so excited to share Rafi Nova with you. We've created a unique code for you and your audience. Oh, that's so nice. Using this code will give you and your audience 15% off anything on rafinova.com. Beyond that, we will donate 50 masks on your behalf to frontline workers in need. Awesome. That's a really great cause so that's really cool so i will have a link down below to these masks rafi nova and then you can use my code christy 15 that'll also be down there if you guys want to get them but let me show you how freaking cute they are i've really liked i've seen other people with tie-dye masks and i think they're so cool looking i don't have any patterns like this so they sent me three they actually feel very nice and they're not cottony well they feel like wa more water resistant and they have a place for a filter so this is the black and white tie-dye one and it has adjustable ear straps which is amazing and it has i haven't had a mask this high tech yet like i haven't gotten into this territory yet but it's like the adjustable nose thing so it's close tight to your face i love this pattern i think this is my fave oh yeah this is so nice that it's adjustable because everyone has a different size face <laughs> nothing's getting through here this actually feels very very safe especially with the filter i think it's cute the same type a little purple and white tie-dye this is fun a blue tie-dye this looks like very ocean oceanic oh that's so fun oh, thank you so much Rafi Nova that was really sweet I'm going to reach out and send this to me back to newly a midi dress I don't know but this is heavy damn um it's this cute like casual cream colored peasanty kind of dress with buttons down the front it's really really well made that's for sure and big pockets it's adjustable on the waist free people so it's just a dress 
that has like layers down there. A nice light summery piece. I thought this was too fun to pass up, especially with kind of like the tie-dye trend that we've all been seeing, even though it's usually in sweatsuit form, but I thought it'd be nice to have like a real clothing piece. This tie-dye, it's kind of hard to see how it fits just like this, but it's banded on the top and bottom. And it has flowy sleeves, kind of like frilly off the shoulder lilac top i just think this is so fun with like a black skirt or shorts or something this is super lightweight and good for hot weather and then i got this skirt which is also pretty out of my comfort zone that's what i like about newly is getting pieces that i wouldn't normally just like buy and keep in my closet because it is temporary like it's fun to play with different styles and things that you're not usually comfortable with like a velvet pinky purpley skirt with tulle over it which seems so girly, but I thought this would be so nice to have just flouncing around in the summer. I don't like clothes that stick to me in the summer. Like I know a lot of people like denim shorts and like tight tube tops and stuff, but I like loose and flowy things because I just don't, especially in humid places like New York, I just can't hang with like clothes that are tight to my skin. So I like things like this where it's lighter. And I thought this would be nice to contrast with like a black t-shirt like tied up or something yeah this is definitely hard to tell just holding up because it's like a wrap top but it's got these eyelet kind of flouncy sleeves i don't know why i keep using the word flouncy but on the sides you can tie it so it'll be like tight on your waist in the front so it's just very cute and flattering another dress that's the thing is i don't have that many dresses that i love black and white floral pattern fun little sleeves it is a wrap dress so again kind of hard to tell just holding it up but it's got like cross front and it ties a little bit on the side and it's got like frills on the i don't know hopefully you can picture it i'm sure i'll be wearing these at some point the last piece for my little newly haul that i am stoked about is a romper from anthropology this is so cool kind of like three quarter sleeves so i'm not sure if i'll be able to wear it in the heat i have to wait for like a cooler day but it is this like cargo -y style tan um, romper. I just like the look of this. Like I think this would be so cute with, I don't know what with, it's gold jewelry. I don't know. I just like the look of it. Kind of reminds me of Ghostbusters, but in the best way. Yeah, so that was my little newly haul. Like once I start slowly like exploring a little bit more in the city, um, going outside, doing some outdoor stuff, I'll be wearing some pieces so i wanted to have a few things to wear sierra and i are going to jump on facetime really soon and record our podcast so maybe i'll give you a little behind the scenes of how we record we are recording in a few minutes and i was just going to show you what i do i'm going to make some matcha right now i just brewed up well heated up some water in my keurig and i have my vital proteins matcha collagen um I have a very weak voice. I used to get people, I actually don't really get those anymore, but I used to get constant comments on YouTube like, you always sound like you're about to cry, blah, blah, blah. But it just sounds very scratchy and feels strained easily. And luckily Sierra's taking voice lessons for her acting and singing stuff. So she's trained me and she said, it's always a good idea to have like some hot tea or something warm before to coat your throat. This is a strong battery. I haven't made a hot beverage like at all since I've been here. Let me show you just how ridiculous my setup is. I'm going to be recording in my bathroom. We did this once already, and I am literally going to be sitting on the floor. Don't worry, I just cleaned the floor. It's a little step stool, and I put the microphone on that, and I can't even hear anything because my headphones aren't plugged in. Okay, this is me sitting on my bathroom floor with Sierra propped up on my hey, toilet. What's up? I'm plugging in my microphone right now. My headphones are plugged into the mic. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Oh, I can hear it now, okay. <laughs> I was so worried. Hello world and all who inhabit it. SpongeBob reference. Good morning world is what he says. Up and Adam for Saturday morning. Well, it's hardly morning. It's noon now. I just haven't vlogged yet. So I'm saying good morning. And I look like an absolute mess. Like I have this entire video. All of my stay home vlogs have just been like, yikes. Enough apologizing for my goddamn appearance. I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog, I think, because it's now Saturday. It's the weekend. We got another, I actually just got an email that had my like electric bill in it and I'm kind of afraid to open it because my air conditioning has like been running constantly. My avocado toast now as always. Everyone hold your breath. What? I am shook. Is this like bill through date was 723 and I got here on 79. So it's like two weeks. It's only $50. I thought it was gonna be like $200. Wow. 
My AC must be very energy efficient. We love that for me. I think my bill is usually 30. Like when I was paying it from Oregon and I wasn't even like using the stuff here. I mean like my fridge was plugged in obviously, but it's usually $30. Anyway, I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog, make my avocado toast and get on with my weekend. I hope you guys have enjoyed this other week in my life at home essentially, kind of exploring in my neighborhood and such. Thumbs up if you made it to the end of this vlog if you haven't subscribed to my podcast yet. Now's your chance. If you haven't gotten tired of me saying it yet, then I have my newly link down below if you guys want to get $10 off, like I said. I just tried on the stuff this morning and it was all so cute. It fits so well and it's just so nicely made. I'm obsessed. I love you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will see you in my next vlog very soon. Bye.